But first on Fox tonight, the most egregious case of pollution they have ever seen. That's how one environmental lawyer describes the toxic smell coming from the new Indy Container Board plant in Catawba. Tonight, dozens of neighbors came together to learn more about a class action lawsuit against the plant. Fox 46's Ryan Kruger joins us live from Indy and Land tonight with the story. And Ryan, what do people who live near the plant actually want to see come from this? Yeah, most importantly, Lindsay, they say they want to see the problem fixed. They say the smell has gotten significantly worse in the last year, and now many of them are saying they're getting sick. I'm angry. I, th I think it's ridiculous that this company could get away with this. Mary Jo Reamy says she's fed up with the lack of action. Wednesday night, she joined dozens of her neighbors for this town hall to learn more about a class action lawsuit against the new Indy Container Board plant. I'm livid, and I think they should cease and desist operation. This has to be one of the most, if not the most, significant and egregious cases of air pollution I've seen. It's not just the smell. Neighbors have also complained about nausea, rashes, and itchy eyes. Lawyers believe it's the chemicals causing the smell that's also causing health effects. The problem is knowing that it's toxic. That's the biggest issue. I could deal with the smell, but knowing that it's toxic, now that's a different deal. Neighbors have been complaining for months, and lawyers say more than 24,000 complaints have already been filed with DHEC. But the message from some neighbors? New Indy, anyone here representing them? You're not welcome anymore. We don't want you. Get out. A lot of applause that last line. Now, the EPA has ordered New Indy to cut down, significantly clean up that uh, smell that is emanating from its plant. New Indy could not be reached for common. We are live tonight in Indian Land. Ryan Kruger, Fox 46.